Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to settle this once and for all uh, to myself and perhaps to some of you. Now, some of you may have already put these head up. If you did, I want you to leave in the comments which one came out on top. Now, this is going to be my first time, and I want to put these head up blind, okay? Because I feel that Maker's Mark here, um, cast strength, which is 109.3, is the underdog going up against Weller, 107. That's what I'm thinking. And I always go for the underdog. But right now, I'm going to do this blind. I'm not going to know what I'm tasting until the end. Now, there's a lot of similarities between these two, okay? Uh, the mash build is identical. 70% corn, 16% wheat, and 14% malted barley. Uh, the only difference is Maker's Mark used soft winter wheat, okay? Now, as far as the age, very similar. Uh, Maker's Mark coming in at six years age, and Weller is between six to eight years in age okay so what is it going to be which one is going to come out on top mm, let's get into it Okay, so uh, let me know. Let me let you know what's going on here. Um, I have no idea what's in these glasses. Okay, so I had to uh, pick up one of my daughters earlier for work, and while I was gone, I had my wife pour these out. Now, at the bottom, there's a color code sticker, um, which will let me know which is which, and she wrote down the key right here. So I have no idea which is which. All right. Um, the only other similar, uh, rather, the only other difference is that the Maker Smart price MSRP is around forty-five bucks, and the Weller MSRP, if you can get it for that, is fifty. So we're just going to go by that. So very similar all the way across in mash bill, in age, and in price. Okay, so. Um, if you have either one of these, uh, go ahead and grab you a glass and sip along with me. And let's just get into nosing these bad boys, okay? Yeah, it's a very classic weeded bourbon, sweet, and a rich. So you gotta blow out, <laughs> smell yourself, sort of get your nose um, away from what you just had, inhale. Very similar. All right, so both of these has a very nice nose of um, uh, rich caramel, of course, that cherry, that cherry, you know, the slight chocolate. Now, that cherry note that I love so much in both of these bourbons is a little bit more uh, pronounced in this one right here. So, This nose is a little heavier than this one. This one is a tad bit lighter. So if I have to give it to one of them for the nose, whichever one is on my right has it. This just comes off a little, little more heavier. The notes are a little darker, um, but they both have that nice cherry, uh, caramel and um, like a chocolate hue to it. You know those chocolate covered cherries with that goop on the inside that make my teeth hurt. Yeah. 
yeah, this one definitely the better nose. Yeah. Okay, so as far as nosing it, the one on my right has it. Okay, uh, let's go on with the taste now. Yeah, that's that, mm, that classic cherry taste that I love. It has that um, that <clears throat> that weeded, creamy mouthfeel that just drives me crazy with these weeded bourbons. I love it. It got a nice uh, cinnamon, a uh, nice cinnamon taste, a little spice. Because barley can give you uh, some notes of, of spice. Not as much as uh, a rye, but yeah, it gives you that notes of spice. Let's go with the next. All right. People, this is going to be tight. This is going to be really, really tight. Now, I don't, I, I don't want to call... I call it a tie on this, but it's really going to be tight. This one it seems like it's drinking at a little bit more higher proof than this, and I know the proof difference between the two is only what two points. You know, one is one hundred seven, the other one is one hundred nine point three something. But still, this is coming through with that nice caramel, that that cherry note. Um, a little chocolate and get a hint of vanilla uh, with this so I'm gonna go through one more time and see what I come up with this is gonna be pretty tough yeah this is this has a nice long finish too <clears throat> Coming, like I said, it's coming through with those dark notes. Now it's coming through with some <clears throat> dark fruit outside of cherries. Um, that brown sugar is coming through. Still getting that chocolate. Maybe uh, some kind of a flaky pie crust in, I'm, I'm getting. These are very similar. Man, I'm telling you, I can't wait to see what happens here. Okay, one more. Okay, I think... Just like the nose, I said that this one's a little heavier. So the mouthfeel on this one is, is a little lighter than this one. This this drinks a little heavier, uh, thicker, richer, um, a tad bit darker. Whatever this is on the right. This one on, on, on the left has had all the same qualities on the right, but it, it's coming in a, just a, a tad bit lighter. I'm not getting that pie crust, that flaky pastry type pie crust I was getting on this one but they both are just excellent just a, a tad bit lighter in the the mouthfeel um, and the uh, the flavors I'm gonna go in for one more and then I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna make a decision all right Okay. All right. So, so let me just say, whatever wins here, <clears throat> they both winners. Okay. <laughs> but 
and, if you, and it's one of those things that if you can't find one, then there's the other. They're, they're very, very close. One is just coming in a little bit more darker. All right. So let's get down to it. I wish I had a drum roll. All right. This is a yellow sticker. I don't know if you can see that. And this one is a green sticker. All right. So we got yellow and green. Let's see what it comes down to. Why, am I, why is my heart beating? I, I don't have a I don't have a dog in the race. I'm not invested. <laughs> All right. So I said yellow. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So you ready? Which one do you think? Nope. 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 Okay. Anyway, the winner. It's Maker's Mark. It just comes through a little darker, a little richer, a little bit more creamier than your Wellers. Ah, you know, I'm not, I'm not that surprised, you know, because uh, I knew it was going to be a close close uh competition here but um that just goes to show you man just because it's hard to find doesn't make it, it better um so if i had to choose either one of these i'm so glad that i could just go at any point in time and pick out a weller now i mean I'll make it smart so does that mean i'm you know saying to you don't waste your time buying weller no go ahead because if I see this out, I still want this on my shelf. It looks good on my shelf and I still enjoy it. And it has a different profile with the taste as far as being um, a tad bit lighter. That's not a bad thing, but I will still purchase the Weller. But I won't pay more than MSRP for it. I will not. It's, uh, if I can find it 50 bucks, um, I'm good. You know, um, and be honest with you, if... if if this is gone and I haven't seen it in a while and I see this for maybe 10 bucks over, I'm, I'm, I might get it just to have it on my shelf and to uh, have friends compare them together. I mean, that's what bourbon is all about, getting with friends and seeing what they think. So for that reason, I probably would. But um, listen, if you can't find it, don't fret. Please get your hands on the Maker Smart Cast Strength. Uh, you got something that is... As, as good but for me a tad a little bit better just a little bit better but please let me know what you think if you've compared these two um how did it do for you do a blind test have someone pour it for you don't even know what's what and just go in blind and you can do that with anything really when you want to compare uh, uh one brand against another one sometimes it really blows your mind you know so well you know what i'm going to do right I'm gonna mix these two. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause just because they taste similar, the mix may not be that good. That's a lot to drink. I'm gonna have to work this down over the next two days. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's funny, the, as, as close as they are, I think I would enjoy them separate. I don't know. It's not bad, but I would take Weller by itself, make her smart by itself. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell so you can see more content coming up. And I will see you next time on the Bourbon Shop. And remember, the best way to enjoy your bourbon is, is to drink it the way you want to drink it. The best way to drink it is in a responsible way, which doesn't mean shots. And there's no way in the world this is going to be a shot.